Nowadays, playing your favorite internet games has become more and more difficult. Most of these games relied on Adobe Flash, but Adobe shut down Flash over a year ago. So while the games and websites are still there, chances are they don't play well or don't play at all. In this video, I'm going to give you 3 solutions for playing internet games in 2022. Mind you, I haven't found a perfect solution that makes all the games play absolutely everywhere. There's always one that doesn't seem to work, but for all the research I've done, these are the methods that worked the most. Ok, so first solution, play on an older version of Chrome. For this, I give credit to SE the G2003. It's a great solution. I left a Google Drive link in the description that he also shared in his video. Essentially, you're going to use an older version of Chrome. Start by creating a folder on your desktop. And by opening the downloaded Chrome with WinRAR, you can drag all of the contents into the folder on the desktop. From there, simply open the Chrome.x. This Google Chrome is an older version and most games will run out of the box when using this browser. All games I played in my last video, I did so using this browser. For Encon, which is one of my favorite websites for games, old Chrome has played all the games I've tried so far just fine. It's not perfect though, many clip games are still broken. This brings me to the second solution, which you can combine with the first. Solution 2. Try different websites and browser. It's not rare for games to be platformed on other websites. Even if you always played your games on Miniclip, chances are it's hosted on a different website that could work. And try different browsers. Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera. All browsers and websites react to the lack of Flash support differently. Sometimes the game works but glitches, sometimes it doesn't. Point is, experiment. Solution 3 is the most complicated but also works pretty well, which is to download the games and play them directly on your computer. Flash games are contained within an SWF file. This next part I learned from a soft click, another fantastic video and I give all the credit to him. The solution is done in two steps. First, you need to download a specific version of Flash. I left a link in the description. When you click the link, the download will start automatically. Then you need to get the SWF file for the game you want to play. The most straightforward way is how Softlink showed it. Head to any game you want to play, then right click on the page and select View Page Source. This will open a page with all the coding from the game's web page. Using Ctrl F, you will open a search bar and type .swf. The page will highlight everywhere the .swf file appears. Find the link that starts with HTTPS and click on it. This should start the download of the SWF file. Now head to your desktop and where you downloaded the Flash player, double click it to open it. Then head to File, Open, then Browse. With Browse, select the SWF file you downloaded, then OK, and the game will start playing. Another way to get the SWF file is through archive.org. On this website, a lot of SWF files are stored, you just have to search for them. In the description, I left a link to all of the SWF files from armorgames.com, which includes my favorite, The Last Stand. And again, none of these solutions are perfect. Sometimes the old Chrome works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the view page source doesn't give me the SWF file for download. And sometimes the SWF file doesn't work properly. But with these tips, if you really want to play these old games, you should be able to one way or another. Thank you for watching. Feel free to support the channel with a like and subscribe. See you next time.